So everywhere you look on Google and on YouTube, you're finding that people are telling you you can make $20,000 a month, $30,000 a month, $100,000 a month selling on Amazon. And you could do it within one month. You could do it in two months. You can do it in three months. Well, I'm here to tell you the absolute truth. Now, although this video is titled how to find profitable products to sell on Amazon that make $20,000 a month, I'm here to break it down to you and tell you the absolute truth of what it really takes to actually get there. The first thing that I wanna tell you, and this is a common misconception, is that it does take work. You can't be here trying to learn all of this stuff, expect to press a single button and get rich super quick. It's not that way, it doesn't work like that. No business works like that. So if you're trying to make some money, be in it for the long haul, be in it for a long-term goal, so you can go and get what you actually want and you learn through the whole process. You will make mistakes regardless of who you learn from or where you take information from or how you go about interpreting. You will make mistakes, it happens. But this is where you always come and learn more. It's the best way to learn is to start today and take action. So for anyone who's new to the channel, my name is Vic JC. I take a no BS approach on teaching you how to sell products online, how to start a business online. And today we're specifically talking about Amazon, finding products so you could go ahead and start that business selling on Amazon. So first of all, let's talk about that $20,000 a month product and move straight into how you can actually go and find those products so you can go and sell them yourself on Amazon. The first thing you need to understand is the calculation behind the 20,000. So if we went and taken, uh, took a calculator over here, um, Let's say, for example, you find a product and it starts to make you $20,000 every single month. Well, that $20,000 is not profit. Make sure you fully understand that. This is not profit. This is the income that you get. What actually goes into your account could be anything from 20 to around 30%. I usually aim for the 30% mark and it usually happens for me. However, there are times where you've ordered a product and you're testing out product and it might be down to 20% when you first launch your product. So let's divide this by 100 and see what 20% of this is. So if you found a product and you're selling $20,000 a month worth of this product, you should be taking home in your bank account $4,000 a month in profit. This is how this works. So please do not misunderstand what I'm actually saying here. So when I say I'm finding a $20,000 product, this is what you will be getting, $4,000 a month. Now remember, you can always sell more products that might have 30%, it might have 50%. You're likely to be around the 20 and 30% mark in my experience from all the products that I've launched and the products that I have out in the market at the moment. So if let's say you launched a second product, that could easily be eight to $10,000 a month just from two products and that's profit. We're talking profit now. So let's move straight into this video and show you how you can go about finding profitable products to sell on Amazon that make $20,000 a month. Now, the first thing that you need to understand is that you will need a product research tool and in this video, we're going to be using the Jungle Scout Chrome extension tool. I don't think they call it Chrome extension anymore. And we're also going to be using the main Jungle Scout web app tool. That's what they used to call it, but it's now just called Jungle Scout. So this is the tool that I'm going to be using to show you today. If you are a Helium 10 user or you don't know what Helium 10 is, I will be releasing a very similar video doing the uh, a very similar thing on Helium 10. So make sure you watch out for that. If you want to be uh, notified when that comes out, make sure you subscribe to the channel and you hit that bell uh, notification icon thingy. So if you want to go ahead and get Jungle Scout, just for those people who don't have this, there is a 50% exclusive offer at the moment with the link that I put in the description. Um, there are a few packages that you get. So like I was saying, you need Jungle Scout and you also need the extension. You also get access to multiple uh, different things that they also offer such as their academy, the product database, supplier database, keyword scout, uh, email campaigns, inventory manager, sales analytics are all important things that you would need. The two things that you need right now is the jungle scout and you will need extension. Now obviously the uh, more months that you buy, so if you buy a year's worth of this there will be a 50% discount on that. If you buy three months of this there will be a 40% discount 
and a minimal discount if you buy it on a monthly basis. So if you didn't want to sign up and check it out, go for the $69 a month one. If you are actually going to commit to this, get your 50% off and buy it for $499. So this is normally $1,000. You get a year of Jungle Scout and extension and you get a whole bunch of other stuff that you can check out here. So make sure you click on the link below so you can go and grab that or take a look, whatever you want to do. Um, this is a risk-free purchase as well. There's a 14-day money-back guarantee. If this is not for you, just get rid of it. Don't worry about it within 14 days. Now, once you've got your Jungle Scout, all you need to do is head over to Find Products and hit Product Database. Now, some of you may have seen some of this before, but there are a slight few tweaks that I've started to do that actually help me to find products much faster and that are better products. So I'm going to pick multiple categories over here. So first on, I'm gonna start off with baby, uh, arts, craft, and sewing. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you why I'm picking some of these uh, options here. And you can obviously experiment, which you should do. You should go out there and try other categories just so you can see what's out there in the market. So I've picked six categories over here that, we, that I want to go through. The reason why I've chosen these is because I know there's no electrical stuff. There's a minimal glass within these uh, categories. Uh, and I generally find a lot more within these categories. So if you want to copy this, copy this right now. The product here you want to go is standard. You want to make sure it's not huge so that when you actually ship it and you store it in Amazon's warehouse, you don't get charged a fortune. And just for some of you who don't know this, when it comes to the months of uh, October to December, Amazon raised their storage fees. So it's really important that you manage your inventory well or you get taught on how to actually manage your inventory well through that period. And you have products that are small in size as a beginner. Now the first one, you probably already know this, but it's, you wanna put in $19.97 and then we'll put in something like $56 as a maximum. The reason we do this is so we have a healthy profit margin if there are any changes in the market, uh, the cost price goes up of the product, uh, there's a little bit of a price wall. We have some flexibility there and there is a healthy profit margin within that. Now. The minimum revenue you want to put in, remember we're looking for something that's 20,000 minimum and the maximum revenue, you don't really need to put that in there. Um, reviews, now there's a bit of a debate that goes around with the reviews and how many reviews you should be searching for. There are a number of different methods of doing product research. This is just one of the simple methods that I know that has been effective for me in the past. I would go with 150 as a maximum. Um, and the rating you can also play around with, um, the maximum rating I would, sorry, the minimum rating that I would put is a four. So at least we don't know, at least we know <laughs> we don't need to make massive improvements in the product because people are already saying, hang on, this, this product's actually okay. I, I'm really happy with this product. So, um, and the reason why we chose the 150 is that we want to make sure we're buying products that, or we're looking at products that are relatively new into the market and anything from a, a under 100, under 150 is relatively new in the market, hasn't been around for too long. Now, if you really want to go new, you could go down to 50 if you wish. Let's use the 150 for now. Now, the maximum weight that I would put is, let's go with five pounds, um, and that's measured in pounds. We want to keep this product as light as possible because the heavier the product, the higher cost in shipping. So the heavier the product, the higher cost in shipping it is for you. So that's all of the information that we need to put in there. Let's see what information we can find. And I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks that I've got that you probably won't find anywhere else that you can use to make sure you're not just selling the exact same product. Because that's what you don't want to do. You don't wanna sell the exact same product as somebody else. Now let's take a look at the uh, information that we have over here. So we've got some folding frames. The folding frames will have glass in it, but it is definitely worth a look. The reason why I tried to stay away from glass is, as a beginner anyway, is that you need to make sure this stuff is packaged correctly. If they come cracked, the whole product's done for. If a box gets thrown around, the product is done. You need to make sure this stuff is packaged properly. So if you can do that, go ahead and start looking at products like this as well. 
Um, so you've got something like this as well. This looks like a lightweight upright vacuum cleaner. It looks like something that goes in the vacuum cleaner and you can actually source these. So a lot of people will think that this is really hard to source. A lot of people will think that this is super hard to actually source. It's not. As soon as I show you how to source some of these, you'll see how easy it is to actually go ahead and buy these products. So you can go ahead and look at this. So look at this, $94,000 for this product. That's how much this person is making. They're selling 3,300 units a month at $27.99. And reviews, they've only got two reviews. And as you can see over here, there is a four star rating. So it looks like there could be some improvements made there. So what we wanna do is we just wanna open this link up into Amazon. So we wanna look at some other products. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly scroll down and see what I can find that I think could be something that you could actually sell. This is something, so we've got a gallon vacuum sealer bag. Um, I don't actually know what it is, but we're gonna go and have a look. They're making $193,000 a month. Now, I just wanna make this realistic. This person has worked really hard to get this here, to get it to $193,000 a month. So, don't take this as if, if you start selling this thing online, that you're gonna actually go ahead and make $193,000 straight away. That's not how this works. This takes a certain type of mindset and work that actually goes into this. So I wanna make sure that you actually know that that's what it takes. So this person is making $193,000. How many reviews did it have? Only 20. And they've got a 4.8, um, they've got a 4.8 average review, which is actually really good. So there's no, major improvements to be made. So I wanna go ahead and open that out as well. Let's pick, uh, let's see if we can pick one more thing. Um, there's a lot of pillowcases and blankets and stuff here. That doesn't really interest me too much. Um, there are some forms. Forms are making $150,000. It could be end of the tax year. These are tax forms. This could be the end of the tax year or something and that's why this is probably doing well at the moment. So you want to be aware of that type of stuff. Um, and you want to know how you can monitor that through the year as well without actually having to wait through the whole year. Um, you've got bulbs here. What have we got? A power supply. Um, I always try and stay away from stuff, uh, electrical stuff. There's a uh, A-frame painting easel here as well. So you could look into something like that. I know I've seen that around quite a bit, but there may be some, maybe some opportunity there. They're making $27,000, selling it for $35. They have, how many reviews, where are we? We've, they've got 42 reviews, and it's a 4.6 out of five, so that's a good one to look at. Um, you can also go for stuff like this Velcro one wrap strap. I have no idea what people use that for. It doesn't matter, we, are, we, we can go and find out. But look, that's four products that we found probably in about 10 minutes or so, or whatever that was. There's four products we found in 10 minutes. This is all it takes to actually go ahead and find some products. And look how much money these guys are all making. 86,000, 24,000. The one we just picked, 151,000. Remember, it doesn't mean that that's what you're going to make, but that's still an opportunity there. Imagine you took 10% of that market or of that person's share of the market, that's $15,000 for you. And remember, you're not getting $15,000, you gotta run a calculation based on 20 to 30% or so, depending on how much profit you actually make per unit, and that will give you your exact figure. So that could be four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000 in profit a month. So I wanna make sure that I keep this real with you and you truly understand what is going on here. All right, so that's step number one. You, sorry, step number one is obviously to go get Jungle Scout and get the Chrome extension and uh, the database as well. Um, step number two is make sure you put all of these uh, details in here so you can go ahead and find some of these products. Uh, and then let's go into step number three. We've picked, you know, we've selected four products. It was really quick for us to go and find that. Let's go and have a look at what this actually is. So. This is a vacuum cleaner, pleated, HEPA activated charcoal dust cup. It's a filter. So it's a filter for a vacuum cleaner. Now, 
What do we do here? Do we go ahead and sell the exact same thing as this person? Probably not, and I'll tell you why, because there's probably other people looking at this, and you wanna make sure, and you might have heard this before, you wanna differentiate yourself. But differentiate yourself doesn't mean you sell four of these, or you sell a two pack, or you sell a one pack. That can be the case, but that's not enough. In this day and age, it is not enough for you to go ahead and just sell one of those instead of three, or you sell a five pack instead of a one. It's not enough to go ahead and do that. You need to make sure you're adding value to your customers. Does it really add value to your customers if you did a five pack and you created a slightly lower price? Not massively. If it does, then great. If it doesn't, then don't do, go ahead and do it. Think about the value for your customer. It's really important that you think about the customer every step of the way. Now, this is a product that's probably heavily demanded and that possibly not many other people are actually selling. Um, you can see the listing is really poor, so there's obviously improvements you can make there on the, on the images there. There's possibly some improvement you can make within the description as well. Um, and what we can see here is the bundle options. What else are people buying with this? And you can see a two-pack washable filter compatible. So it looks like there's something else here as well. These, what looks like, what looks like high quality filters and wick pads. So that could be something that you wanna dig into. So you wanna look at what's going on there and why are people buying that product? What is that product? So you wanna dig a little bit deeper and try and understand that. So how do you dig bigger, that bigger, bigger? How do you dig a little bit deeper? You check out this product over here. You also check out the reviews for this specific product. What you may want to do is bundle this Eureka part type as well. You may want to bundle that with this product and sell it as a bundle. And that could be your first opportunity to set yourself apart. But you need to make sure that you find something different. Now, what I was doing over here is trying to find what else is related to this product. So these filters here, are people buying that? Are people buying this filter? What are they actually using this stuff for? And you can go on to forums, you can go to Reddit to try and find some of this stuff, stuff um, this information. So go on to forums, go on to Reddit. This is a huge tip that everybody misses and nobody goes and does their proper research on this. Go on to Reddit and forums and type in this product. Type in what are the problems, type in what are people buying with this product, what are they using for? Understand your customers so you can give them that value. Now, let's move on to a slightly better product because I don't think there's too much we can do on this one. Let's see what we have here. This is a vacuum seal bag for commercial grade food. So that looks pretty good. Um, it's light, it's easy to source. As you can see, there's only one image here, just this image. Uh, we can put multiple images and these guys are making a lot of money. There's 20 ratings. And they're doing really well. Look, they've got 4.8 out of 5. How do you differentiate yourself? Possible sizes, possible bundles of different sizes. So you could have 50 of this size and 50 of another size. Remember the tip that I gave you. Go on to forums, go on to Reddit, go to places where people are talking about food or these types of products or commercial grade, sealer bags, whatever it is. Go and find what people are talking about. What are they buying with this product? What do they actually want? What are they using it for? And one of the biggest things that I see that has missed is how you can portray that in the first image. This image is great actually because it tells you exactly what this is for. This tells you that this is for food. It looks like it's vacuum sealed or shrink wrapped even. And this is for that specific person who is looking for that. And it tells them exactly that within the first image. Now, you can come here and look at, look, this is exactly what I said. They are buying, customers are also buying 10 inch by 14 inch, eight inch by 12 inch, and a six inch by 12 inch. They're buying these three together. Why, why couldn't you go ahead and bundle this product and sell this product as a package. Now make sure you do your research before you just go ahead and sell it. Make sure you really understand that people are actually buying this product as a bundle. You can go ahead and bundle these products. 
you can do 50 of each, you can do 100 of each, and you can sell that to the market and hopefully take a decent share of that market. So you can also look over here, there's a lot of other uh, pieces of equipment and things that people sell that are related to this, but honestly, the best option is to see what people are writing within the reviews, and you can start to understand what they are using it for. So this one you can see, I love these pre-made bags. When you have a lot of meat to put up, it saves you time and energy. This is the problem that this is solving, the time and energy problem. We put up one ton of cow meat. It was great having them. The meat stays fresher and comes out just like you put it in there. No freezer burn or extra water. Fresh and looks fresh. I would not freeze any other way. So you're obviously solving a problem here for a specific type of person, for a specific type of customer. Make sure you do your research and start to understand why people use this one, what they're using it for. Look, there's even some information on the weight and what they're actually putting in there. So you could actually change that first image of try and get 250 pounds of tuna fillets into that vacuum sealed bag. So you could actually do that, portray that in the first image, and you would actually start to beat this person because you're giving the customer what they are looking for. And when they, as soon as they see that, the conversion rate, which means they come onto this page and buy, will be higher. The more people that come on this page will actually go ahead and buy. The conversion rate will be higher. And that's what you want to do within this. You want to spot the opportunities of where you can add value to your customer. Bundling is an option that you can use and it is, it is a very good option, but you need to make sure you do your research to find out that this is what customers are actually wanting and looking for. And then you need to portray that into the image, into the first image. The other tips that I could give you is obviously you could change the titles um, to make sure you're saying what customers are saying. You can use the same words that they're using, but you also need to make sure that you're uh, using the words that people are searching for. And there's a whole nother video on that. You also want to make sure that your description gives the customer exactly what they want. And this is what research is about. Research is about finding what customers actually are looking for. What are they saying online about the specific product? And are you going and displaying that information uh, in a way where they can understand in a one image that this is the product for me? This is the product that I've been looking for. I'm going to go ahead and buying it. Or go ahead and buy it. I do not need to look at anything else. So make sure you understand what your customers want. And once you do have all of that language and what they're using, you can put it all in here. You don't actually need to sit there and make it up. You just need to write the problems that you solve, what it does, the benefits, the features, everything that the customer is actually looking for. Now I know finding a product can be super frustrating and it can take some time, but that's what it takes. It takes hard work, otherwise everybody would be doing it. And if you really want to be successful and you really want to change your lifestyle and you want to get that passive income and you want to build an Amazon business, you really need to put in the effort, the time to go ahead and find products. Yes, it can be frustrating. I've been there myself. It is hella frustrating and I, it's really hard to try and mentally get through that. If you get frustrated, just take a five minute break, come back and go at it again. I want you to understand that it's a good thing that this takes some time and it takes effort and it takes research to understand your customer. Why is it a good thing? Because not everybody will wanna do it. People are lazy. I mean, I mean lazy to some extent as well. People are lazy and they're not always going to do it. I see so many people who decide to take action in the first place and then after a while, after two weeks or a month or two months, they decide to give up and they can't be bothered to do it. This is why you will go ahead and beat all of these people. Not everyone will go ahead and do it. In fact, I can bet that more than 90% of people won't actually use this information and go ahead and do it. If I were you, I'd go ahead and start right now. Now, if you want Jungle Scout, make sure you use the link in the description. If you wanna know how to do this with Helium 10, I do have a video coming out. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so you get notified when I release that. I'm also going to teach you how to go about getting these products from suppliers and getting the best suppliers and prices. And I've also got a little bonus in that video coming as well. 
So make sure you subscribe to the channel. If this video was really useful, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and so would the YouTube algorithm. I've also created a free ebook for you with all of this information in there. So if you do want to go ahead and grab your free copy, make sure you click the link that I've put in the description below. Put your name and your email address and it will get sent straight to your email inbox. Now anyone who subscribed to the email list will also get some exclusive content straight to your inbox. So make sure you sign up today. And finally, I want to know what your biggest problem is with selling on Amazon and why you may have not already started. Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching today. I am so glad you spent the time to actually come here and watch this video and take the information and hopefully take some action. I will see you in the next video.